I have water level on a switch. Let's see if we can get that working. Oh. What was that all about? No, water level is not working. Okay, a little tricopter I built a long time ago. It's running on multi Wii. You see the uh, multi Wii board there right on top. It's a uh, tricopter, so it's got the servo for the tail. Um, it's an 853S. Uh, it's very small, obviously. Uh, I don't know. Let me just give you a flight, flight of it, and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about it as we're as we're flying. Uh, this is in auto level right now, and uh, I think it's the wind would pick up just as I go try to fly this thing. Um, and I have it on a switch that I'm going to set it to acro. I'm not going to do any flips or rolls or anything, but this is essentially uh, whatever attitude you put it in, that's the attitude it's going to stay in. So it's going to fly like a collective pitch helicopter, but without the collective pitch part. And uh, it's um, it's fun to it's fun to fly like this. It's it's challenging and it uh, gives you a little training when you want to fly your you know helis or or actual, you know, quadcopters and acro. This is the, uh, this is the way to do it. This little guy is uh, Home Depot plywood and zip tie, some tape. I don't think there's any real screws in it. It's uh, meant to when it hits the ground really hard that it kind of pops apart and really does no permanent damage. And it's you know it's been crashed a couple of times. I'm sure it's been repaired. I haven't flown it in a while, but it's it's actually very efficient. It's running on a 3S850, and uh, it'll give you. It's going to be upwards of six minutes. I really haven't timed it exactly. These are kind of old batteries, but they're running to the time of six minutes, no problem. I mean, I ran it a little bit before, so this is the end of this pack. I'll probably run this flight for four or five minutes or so. As you see, it's very, well, it's a little wiggly because now the wind's picking up, but, um, you know, it's not perfectly balanced as far as the props go. It has little banded on props. I think that one motor to the right over there is kind of canted over. I got to adjust it up with the zip tie because it's only zip tied on. But uh, flies pretty good. I mean, it'll get uh, it'll get moving pretty good. You can put a small FPV system on it, and uh, you can have a lot of fun with this thing. Unfortunately, I think it comes in over 250 grams, so. Yeah, you really can't, uh, really you should be, you know, careful where you fly it or make sure you're within the rules. It's a fun little, uh, backyard flyer. Much more capable than any of those little mini helis. The, uh, fixed pitch ones, anyway, the collective pitch of a little bit better but still nose in hovering I think we can safely bring it in. 
about that time. I'm not going to kick it back over to auto level because what it did before, it did like a uh, like a weirdo thing where I switched it back into auto level and it didn't know where it was. I think it was because I plugged it in and it was uh, up in the air. That might have been a problem when it initialized. And then uh, I took off an acro, then when I put it back into auto level, it um, thought it was sideways, so then it started taking off to the left. But um, actually, let's just check that. We're going to take off again in auto level and see if it remains level. If it does, that would be good. That's hands off. So that's that's good. No, oh, that's not hands off, but it's not drifting. Let's put it this way. Before it was uh, kind of taking off sideways on me. Okay. Didn't want to come down there. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.